Survival is as much about the mind as it is the body. And sometimes it's just a simple thing like taking a dip to lift your spirits. Often the reason that islands like this are uninhabited is that there's no ready supply of drinking water. And my best way of finding a drink is to get to these coconuts. And the ones I want are up there, but the only problem is that's probably about 35 or 40 foot up. And getting them is not going to be easy. There is a technique for climbing these trees. Always keep pressure on the trunk with the balls of your feet and toes. And as you go up, alternate moving your hands and your feet. One thing you really need is strong inner thighs. And if you're good at riding horses, you're going to be good at this. But my thighs are burning, I'm only halfway out. Coconuts may be a lifesaver in this castaway situation, but they're also killers. People die every year from coconuts falling on their heads, and an average sized nut weighing two pounds can hit the ground with a force of one metric tonne. These are the ones I'm after. It's these green ones that are the younger coconuts and they contain much more uh, water than the older ones that are lying around on the beach, the brown ones. Also these green ones are much more nutrient rich. But the way I'm going to get it off uh, is just to keep twisting them. And they should go any minute. Whoa! Here she comes, and there she goes, awesome. But coming down these trees is much harder and more painful than you might think. Tell you what, this is not the sort of thing you want to do as a bloke. Ow. Coconuts are rich in potassium, which your body loses when it sweats. Oh, that is beautiful. It also holds vitamin C and carbohydrate, so it's a good source of energy. And it's not surprising that the Polynesians call this the tree of life. I know of one of the survivors of the 2005 tsunami who was rescued from a desert island and he'd actually survived for 25 days uh, living just on coconuts. And it shows just what a lifesaver uh, these can actually be. While that's cooking, I'm going to extract some oil from coconut flesh that will protect me against the sun and salt water. And what I'm going to try and do is then crush it and get the oil out of it. I'm never going to get it looking as smooth as like sun cream, but I just want to crush it enough so the oil seeps out of it. And it's this oil that I'm going to use just to protect me against all the salt water chafing and the sun. And then all I need to do is get a little bit of it, rub it in my hands, and then rub it onto my skin like this. And you see the oil coming off, and that's going to give me good protection.